Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday, so it is meal prep day. Like I shared with you guys in my grocery haul, I am super, super excited for these three recipes. I've been drooling over them and thinking about them all week. So if you're excited as well, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I do upload five days a week. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. That way you know where you should be every day to be successful in weight loss and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to all of my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you. So let's jump in to my really exciting meal prep. this week, I am making fresh raspberry streusel muffins. I have been craving muffins, so I'm making a healthier, lower calorie, lower point, but yet still delicious muffin for breakfast this week. I'll pair this with my favorite protein. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need all-purpose flour. This is the Lakanto Golden. This is my all-time favorite sugar substitute. As you guys know, I will have Lakanto linked in the description box for 15% off. Highly recommend. It is the best tasting sugar alternative, doesn't bother your stomach, and for me it tastes just like regular sugar. So I am using the golden, and then this in here is the granulated Lakanto as well. So I just love their sweetener in general. Again, it is linked down below for you. You're also going to need some salt, baking powder, vanilla extract, unsweetened applesauce, light butter, sour cream, eggs, and of course, some fresh raspberries. So the first thing we're going to do is make up the streusel topping for our muffins. So I have one half of a cup of the Lakanto Golden, one half of a cup of all-purpose flour, and then one quarter cup of light butter softened. And then with a fork, we're going to mix this together, kind of crumbling that butter as we go. We want this to make a crumble consistency. So here's what your crumble is going to look like, and then we're just going to set that aside. Now we're ready to get started on the muffin. So I'm going to add one cup of all-purpose flour to a medium bowl, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. This is a half, so I'm going to add three. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to just fill this up halfway. Mix your dry ingredients together really well. To the dry mixture, we're adding one half of a cup of sour cream, one egg, one quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, which is exactly what is in one of these little pouches, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Go ahead and mix together just until combined. Make sure you do not over mix. That's actually what causes your muffins to be a little more spongy. Spray your muffin pan with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm using the little handy dandy scoop from my cookie scoop pack off of Amazon. These haven't been available for a while, but if they are, I'll link them down below for you. And we're just going to scoop in the batter. I wasn't sure how many muffins I would get out of the batch because that isn't a lot of batter. I ended up getting nine muffins total, so that's what my points and calories will be based on. Once you have the batter into the muffin pan, we're going to top each one of our muffins with raspberries. Go ahead and use your entire six ounce raspberry container. And then we're going to spoon some of the crumble right on top. These look so incredibly delicious. Look at that, oh my gosh. These are going into a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. The muffins are out of the oven. Oh my goodness, do these look absolutely incredible. Look at that streusel topping and the raspberries. Yum, I'm going to allow these to cool. 
I'll plate them up. I'll be back to share points and calories. And here are the finished muffins. These look like something really high in calories, sugar and points that you get at the bakery. That crumble on top, 10 out of 10. It is so delicious. So I will go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. But raspberry streusel muffins, that's what's for breakfast. this week I am making a low carb fish taco bowl. I'm really excited for this. I love fish tacos and this is kind of a deconstructed healthy version. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First you're going to need some fish. My fish is actually from Imperfect Foods. This is wild caught cod. It is so incredibly delicious. It calls for frozen fish. I did thaw mine first only because I want to dry it really well before seasoning it up. You're also going to need lots and lots of fresh cilantro, light butter, taco seasoning, non-fat Greek yogurt, milk, salt, and pepper. And then we're making a homemade slaw. So I have some angel hair coleslaw, and for that we'll need apple cider vinegar, honey, light ranch, we'll also need salt, pepper, and lime juice. And then I am making a pineapple cauliflower rice, which I'm really excited about. Again, we'll need salt, pepper, lime juice, cilantro. I have a little pack of cauliflower rice. I bought these at Costco. You just put them in the microwave, warm them up, and the rice is actually really good. And then you'll need some pineapple tidbits. I melted two tablespoons of light butter in the microwave, and I'm just going to brush that over the fish fillets. And then we want to sprinkle about two tablespoons of taco seasoning right on top. Our fish is going into a 400 degree oven for about 25 minutes. While the fish is in the oven, we're going to make up the sauce that we're going to drizzle on top of our bowl. So the first thing we're going to need is a quarter cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, just a pinch of salt, one and a half teaspoons of lime juice, and one teaspoon of honey. We're going to mix this all together and this delicious sauce will get drizzled over the bowl when we're ready to eat it. it. Smells so good. You can smell the lime and the sweetness from the honey, yum. Next up is the cilantro cauliflower rice. So I went ahead and cooked my cauliflower rice in the microwave. This is really so, so easy and it tastes really good. I always like to fluff it up just a little bit before adding the rest of the ingredients. Then I have eight ounces of pineapple tidbits. I did drain all of the juice, so I counted as zero points because there is no added sugar or juice to the pineapple. I have lots of cilantro, so I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup to the rice and about two teaspoons or a little more if you want of lime juice and then fluff that up and that is the cauliflower cilantro pineapple rice for our bowls. Lastly, we need to make up our slaw. So like I showed, I'm using the angel hair coleslaw. I just got this at Walmart. I don't want the slaw to get soggy. So my plan is, is to keep the actual slaw in the bag. Actually, I'll probably put it in a storage container so it stays nice and crispy. We'll make the dressing for the slaw and then each day when I prepare my bowl, I'll mix my slaw together really quickly. That way it stays nice and crispy. So the first thing we're going to add to a small storage container for the dressing for the slaw is about half of a cup of cilantro, one half of a cup of light ranch dressing, one teaspoon lime juice, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons apple cider vinegar, and two tablespoons of honey. Mix that together really well, and that is the dressing for our coleslaw. I just pulled out the fish. It looks and smells so delicious. So here's everything for the low carb fish taco bowls. Let me walk you through all the different pieces that are going into the bowl. I am going to have this for lunch and Wednesday's what I eat in a day. So I'll make sure that I insert a picture here for you of what the finished bowl looks like before I 
indulge in it, but let me show you all the pieces of our bowl and how we'll assemble it. So the recipe makes four bowls total, so we'll divide our fish out by four. Same with the cilantro pineapple cauliflower rice. This will be the base of our bowl. We'll top it with some of the slaw mix with this really yummy dressing. We'll drizzle over the first sauce that we made in the beginning right over the top of the fish, and then we'll top it with some extra fresh cilantro. So it's going to be full of color, full of crunch, lots of flavors. I'll go ahead and put points and calories here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I am making lemon blueberry sheet cake. It's been a while since I had cake, so we're gonna do a fresh summery cake this week. So let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need salt, all-purpose flour, powdered sugar alternative. As always, I'm using the Lakanto powdered. Don't forget I do have Lakanto down in the description box with 15% off for you. Some low fat buttermilk, light butter, again, Lakanto granulated sweetener, eggs, a fresh lemon or a couple of lemons depending on the size. This huge one is from my lemon tree, so it's going to be perfect. Some vanilla extract, lots of fresh blueberries, baking powder, and baking soda. So to get started on our cake, the first thing we're going to do is whisk together the dry ingredients. So I have three cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and half of a teaspoon of baking soda, and one and a quarter teaspoons of salt. This is a half of a teaspoon, so I'm going to do two and a half. Go ahead and stir that really well until fully mixed. Into a medium bowl, we're going to add our wet ingredients. So starting with one cup of softened light butter and one and a half cups of our Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. And then with a handheld mixer or a KitchenAid mixer, we're going to mix until creamy. And then we're going to crack in our four eggs. our vanilla extract, and one cup of low-fat buttermilk. With your mixer, go ahead and mix on low until incorporated. Now we're going to add the wet ingredients to our dry ingredients and then stir, hand stir until combined. Now we're going to zest in the lemon. And then juice half of this large lemon. We want to save the other half for the glaze that's going on our cake. And then we're adding our blueberries and gently stirring everything together. I went ahead and greased a nine by 13 baking dish and we are going to add our batter to the dish. We're putting our cake into the oven at 350 for 40 to 45 minutes. So for the glaze, I've added about two cups of the Lakanto powder to a medium bowl, and I'm going to just squeeze in lemon juice and stir as I go. We want the right glaze consistency, so I always like to add a little bit of the liquid, stir, add more liquid until I get that right consistency. And there is the perfect glaze consistency. Not too runny, but still runny enough to drizzle on our finished cake. Our cake is out of the oven. It's been sitting on my counter for about 15 minutes, so it's getting nice and cooled. We are going to take that really yummy glaze and put that right on top. Oh my gosh, this looks so delicious. And here is the lemon blueberry cake with the glaze. I mean, can we just talk about how incredible this looks? I will go ahead and put points, calories, serving size, everything here on the screen for you, but I have to say, this is going to be probably my favorite little sweet treat of the week. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. As always, the recipes I shared with you today are on my website. Also down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come over, join us there. That's where you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. If you're excited about these recipes, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And of course, subscribe and ring your bell so you never miss a future video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday. Have a great week and I'll see you next time.
Bye.